All right, so this is the third video I do about this, and trust me, this is the definitive guide on how to get crystals really easy and quick with many tricks and tips I learned across these years. This guide will be aimed to free-to-play players, so without further ado, let's start with the video, shall we? In case you don't know, there are zones that give you a higher score than others, even if your performance is the same. So that means that for challenge zone, there's a major gap of points where this difference is really important. The best songs to play on master for this are Viva Happy and Bless Your Breath. Taking care that you AP the song, by the way. One way of increasing the character ranks on all characters is getting the free stamp after joining the virtual show on past events. If you're new at the game, this will be coming handy to you because each character has at least 4 or 5 stamps from events. Taking for every 1 and 2 star cards for unread histories, skill levels and mastery ranks. It is worth it considering the low cost of leveling up these type of cards. Not many people do this, especially if you are good at the game and you are just playing on Expert and Beyond. But achieving a full combo on hard rewards you with 50 crystals, which doesn't seem like much, but taking care that currently are around 360 songs, that means that you could get up to 18k crystals really easy. Reminder to get the 400 crystals from the current event before the next one starts. I said this a couple times, but entry a virtual show and exiting just when it begins, it's enough to get a crystal or whatever it is the reward. That means that if you are in a hurry or you just don't want to see the life, you can still get the rewards quick. You can filter by the songs you haven't achieved and S rank to get all the songs rewards. Maybe you have a few them that you have missed. Talking about songs, if you're feeling like being able to, you could try to full combo easy expert or master charts. Even if you don't like or use cards of certain characters, increasing their deco gives you a character rank point. Grinding trust rank with characters you haven't leveled up just yet rewards you with a nice amount of crystal per few levels. If you have a huge amount of wish pieces, you could use them to increase up to max the mastery and skill levels of 3 star cards. That's a considerable amount of character ranked levels for all your characters. You can check which of them are more worth spending your resources on. Cover barters and stamps also increases the character rank. Everything increases the character rank in this game, not missing loading bonus. Sometimes Prosekai Global Feast generous with us and gives us a special loading where you can get crystals. A few hundreds if we are lucky. Per 10 levels you get 550 crystals which is really good amount. Although beyond rank 300 kinda, those rewards are replaced by energy drinks. This is not crystal itself but instead free pulls which are also welcome but the third anniversary mission boards depending on the difficulty you can get up to five pulls of them but for that you really have to play the game something that 90 percent of my audience ain't doing anymore this could be the most important tips and tricks but i have more to show only that aren't that effective like the others honorable mentions to area conversations especially if you haven't played the game in a while don't forget to claim the 300 or 500 crystals of each event exchange the seventh day Strict extra rewards from talent so but this hundred crystal gift is optional and depends on your current needs you can get some character rank points creating costume for a specific character that's an anniversary mission by the way first history of four star cards at rank match placement if you are good at the game using characters that you never put on the center to get a few character rank points in the long run maybe if any of these trips didn't help you, maybe stepping into the dark side is the way to go. And yeah, I'm talking about spending money on this horrible game that probably you are gonna stop playing within a year. Hope you'll see you in the third anniversary streams I'm gonna do. Leave me down below something that probably I could have missed. Subscribe if you like it and see you in the next one.